What if we weren't afraid to grow older, go grey, get wrinkly, be menopausal? What if we could let go of all the preconceived ideas and cultural norms and just allowed ourselves to be, navigating the inevitable twists and turns and bumps in the road, allowing ourselves the grace, self-care and compassion that we truly deserve? For me, the best thing about getting older is that I care much less about what others think. I've stopped trying to be anything expected of me and just get on with the business of being myself. So these arrived yesterday and I wasn't 100% happy with the um, printing of them. This one I'm kind of happy with, this one I was, but some of the borders on say for example this one, the top border of it is just, you know, it's not been centra centralised, you know, for the print so they're not going to pass the James test that's for sure. I've gone for the thinner cardstock on these um, even though they're postcards in a way because I like the fact that, you know, we can stick things in our journal, things get inevitably fat anyway but so yeah I'm not yeah, 100% happy with those. I'll have a chat with James when he gets back, which will be on Thursday. And I'm gonna carry on with some work, even though, you know, obviously I'm doing open studio as well. I have been arting as well. So I finished, I don't know if you've seen the finished version of um, Fairy Echo. Um, I think she turned out quite nice. So I can do some um, postcards and stickers of this one. I've started this drawing when I was away at the seaside. So you might have seen that video a few, few months ago, maybe a month, I don't know. It's uh, time's strange at the moment, seems to be passing so quickly. So I want to finish the drawing in my sketchbook. I find it quite, you know, easy and handy to use dry media instead of getting all my paints out while, um, you know, I mean, I could be Finishing this one over here. I think simplifying and doing one thing at a time is, you know, definitely the best right now, for sure. It's productive, but it's also well-being. And so you're not overwhelmed, you don't burn out. It's a completely different thing. And just to simplify, you know, to your pencil and your paper, it, I'm sure you know what I mean. So it's just been really fun doing Open Studio. I've still got about 25 minutes of today's session. I'm doing a drawing and I've had quite a few people in today, which has been so nice to meet people in person. Thanks so much for coming, if you're watching this as well. I didn't open the last year's one, but I'll probably do it again next year when we do it. I think I'm gonna go home quite soon, as soon as it's kind of closing time, so two o'clock-ish. Have some lunch, 
and sorry if I've got bed hair by the way it's a little bit uh, bed hairish but uh, that's okay yeah I've just really enjoyed chatting with people about creativity and you know people's insecurities has come up quite a lot today the fact that they never feel they're good enough yeah we all have that so if you're out there and you needed to hear that right now we all have that and it's completely normal you've got to get your head around it and you've got to get a handle on it so it doesn't stop you creating I think that's really important but yeah we all have those insecurities for sure important affirmation I am enough repeat after me as many times as you need in whichever scenario you need it there you go so I'm going to take some pics of you know what I've been doing for my Patreon cafe which has been amazing this week so fun well it's fun every week to have to say we just chat and stuff every day I used to do Patreon lens but Patreon took that part of the functionality out so I opened up the Patreon cafe instead and I love it it's one of my most favorite happy places so I'm gonna take a few pics of this they always get early peek at everything Yum. I might make a little reel and then I'm going to go home and I'm going to do a little bit of work at home edit a bit of this video for you yes and I hurt my finger again but not really badly and I didn't pass out or nearly pass out like in the last video it's okay got my like eh? mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. yes I'm good I was just reading your email and I thought I would just give you a call if you've got a minute um before we pay the deposit I just wanted to clarify about the carpet and the painting thing you know if he sort of wants us to sort of take that on is he gonna sort of maybe put a little bit of money towards the painting or some of the carpets Sue was saying might be replaced no worries that's and as I say you know we're really flexible we just want to know where we stand yeah of course should be fine um but let me let's see if we can get some so helpful yeah perfect okay. cheers then bye for cheers, now man. bye, bye. a little while since I spoke to you because I've had my little family came to see me so I had a little bit of quiet cozy time with them and my grand son of course as well and I've kind of struggled a little bit well quite a lot actually to get back into things this week I came in yesterday I showed up I did that thing that I talk about and uh, I did kind of did nothing I didn't achieve anything so today is a brand new day <laughs> and you know we totes got this whatever it is I've got a lady coming in to pick up a painting she bought one of the paintings that was out there being exhibited on the wall so I need to wrap that up and do a certificate of authenticity and I've also it's podcast day so I've got a couple of ideas for kind of like this ongoing project I'm doing on the on the kind of brown paper this is the third one 
and I'm part way through I'd say halfway through now editing that process if you're interested in the art process videos those are on the patreon this one will be in the pockets tier which is five pounds a month normally James will edit all the patreon process arty videos for me but he's working away at the minute so it's kind of like a bit extra <laughs> But I am managing okay, but I'm just kind of taking it a little bit slower. I'm aiming for Friday, so I'll hopefully get that one up. And arty-wise, yes, I want to do a couple of things. This is the one that sold the Fairy of Miracles, and obviously this is a postcard of it. The real one's out there, so I need to wrap that. But I've got, yeah, a couple of ideas. Some of the things I'm in my process are working really well for me in my opinion and I'd like to just take them a little bit further take them a step further if you like so I want to have a little play with that today that is the plan anyway the so first things first let's have a little snack I've got grapes and I've got a little bit of coffee and wake up properly because I'm not actually properly awake yet and I've still got bed hair so sorry about that <laughs> making a mess already but anyway <laughs> what's new so i've come in early this morning so i thought we could have a morning drink together maybe coffee maybe tea whatever it is you like in the morning i've had my lemon water and i brought my coffee with me it's one of those cozy snuggly days as we're coming into autumn so and i really like it i really like kind of the gray days where you can put your fairy lights on and it's you know it just lifts your mood you need extra light to to lift your mood and ever since being little i've always had a kind of string of lights or a special light that i called my happy light and so yeah for me it's light therapy if you like but i just there's a little something special and magical about twinkly lights isn't they so yeah and i have been known to put my christmas tree up at the end of october or even before. I think the earliest I've put my tree up is the autumn equinox. So in some years, my tree would already be up. But anyway, we will probably wait until we move. So touch wood. <laughs> Let's do a little house update then, shall we? These are my cozy little gloves that my sister got me a little while ago now. And they're so soft, so soft. So I don't know where she got them from. They're perfect because my wrists and my hands get really, really cold. Anyway, what was I saying? So our little house then is so far so good, everything's going through. And I know there were comments about the carpets downstairs being absolutely disgusting, basically. They were so filthy. And if you watch last, the last video, a couple of weeks ago now, you will see. The landlord has been really reasonable, actually. So it's one of those situations where we can actually chat with him directly on the phone, which James has been doing. And so James has been doing all the negotiation, negotiations, if I can speak, um, behind the scenes, if you like, because there's certain things that aren't quite right about moving in. And ideally it should be ready, 
but in the current climate of the housing market the way it is right now things are a little bit more complicated than usual and so we just have to go with what we have now make the best of it so that's what James and I are doing so we're not footing any costs for anything but we are going to steam clean the upstairs carpets and the landlord's going to provide new carpets for downstairs and I did ask James if he could kind of ask him about having kind of laminate down which is just much nicer with rugs on and I just find it cleaner basically and he did think about it but at the end of the day the costs you know outweighed so we are having a new carpet and we got to pick out of three as well which was really nice of him so he is you know bending over backwards a little bit for us anyway to cut a long story short hopefully and again you know touch wood <laughs> We are being um, allowed in early after we've signed and paid deposits and all that stuff. We're going to be given the key early before we start paying rent because of the fact that we've offered to decorate it. So I'll do all the little faffy bits and James will do the big roller bits probably. And then we can freshen the place up, hopefully, before the new carpets go down. It will all be like, you know, a blank slate and fresh because I want to scrub that kitchen as well. So the kitchen wasn't very nice either. So there will be a moving vlog coming up probably if I get to film it all because it's going to be a bit chaotic. I suppose the thing worrying me the most is not really if everything's kind of going to go with the flow because I kind of trust that it will and if it's meant to be it's meant to be. I think the thing that's worrying me most is probably whether I will have the energy to do everything because often I find I haven't got much energy at all and it depends you know I wake up this is menopause and perimenopause stuff if you haven't experienced it already. And if you have, you'll have to let me know in the comments if it was similar for you. But I find my energy levels are all over the place. And you know, some, t some days I wake up and I haven't got any. And I need to wake up in the morning to find out what I'm going to get. I can't predict the day before even. And it's really nice today, for example, because I've woken up with more energy than usual, if you like. So I came in early, etc. So, But that's the little house update, yes. And any time I mention perimenopause or menopause or growing older and how that feels, you know, to be growing older, growing up, if you like, is what I kind of call it. You know, people always say to me, you know, Wendy, you should talk about that more because we don't talk about it enough. And I think a lot of the aspects of when you hear someone talking about menopause, and I've read a lot of um, books as well. I've probably read maybe them all, but I've read a lot around it as well. Obviously, it's a subject of interest for me right now and I'm navigating it as best I can, as anyone can. I think what's come out for me is, you know, it's really common to talk about, you know, hot flushes and all those kind of symptoms, sleepless nights, the troubles, the difficulties, the challenges and how terrible it is. And, you know, if you're not there yet, don't worry about it. I'm doing fine and if, I'm, if I can do it, you can do it basically, so. It's okay, don't you worry about it. There are things, you know, that are challenging about it, but you know, we've mostly been through a long time of our menstrual cycles anyway. So we've already been through all that every single month. So this is coming out the other way, in a way, going back to the hormonal levels that we had at puberty. And I'm hoping my energy returns when I come out of what I'm calling the tunnel, because I do feel it's like a rite of passage through this tunnel towards the menopause and I'm not through yet so sometimes the tunnel is a nice flow if you like the water's flowing and it's you know I'm bobbing along quite nicely thank you very much sometimes it's a little bit more bumpy and sometimes the tunnel gets quite tight and small in places and I feel a bit squeezed and so the last couple of weeks if I'm really honest I've been going through one of my squeezes and by that I, you know I don't mean the physical stuff of hot flushes and stuff which I have experienced and you know they're not always the nicest you know I don't need to tell you that do I the thing for me which I find the most challenging is more the emotional journey of it because it's a little bit like unfinished business will randomly and unexpectedly crop up to be resolved, if you like. And sometimes that can mean really painful stuff coming up again. So it might mean, you know, maybe stuff that's happened out of your own control, 
or it might be something that you know if you'd have known better at the time you'd have done better and so there's an element of guilt and shame about you know the things that happened and how you maybe behave towards someone else and all that kind of stuff that's cropping up and as an avid journaler if you've been around here a while you know I, I journal and art journal and use my creativity as a processing tool to help well-being and mental health so I've been doing all that but it has been quite heavy going and it has do, used a lot of energy and so yeah that has been going on in the sidelines if you like amongst all this moving and just the normal life stuff you know I know you know so you'll have to let me know in the comments you know whether you are pre perimenopause or you're in perimenopause which is the bit before which can start in your 40s and quite usually does or the bit where you're going through the more pre-menopause stuff like I am and whether you're beyond that and what that's like as well and whether whether you can let me know if your energy does return because I'm hoping to get a more level energy level that I can be a bit more predictive in what I'm going to get and then I can kind of plan a little bit better because sometimes I've made a plan and I've not been able to do it because yeah so let me know yes let's share ideas on that because it's really important and I agree I don't think it's talked about enough yes I could, I could do a whole video on it yeah maybe I will one day anyway I'm just sat finishing this focus please in the focus okay yeah finishing my little drawing I'm calling it my cameo girl and um yeah I was thinking about what I was just saying about how it really feels to get older to grow older and so I'm in my 50s now and you know to some of you that might be like oh she's a spring chicken but it's all relative isn't it so yeah it's interesting and I think you know when I turned 40 I had a really hard time I, I didn't like it I didn't like saying goodbye to my 30s I found myself clinging on a little bit and of course you can't <laughs> so there's no way around it there's only you can only go through it like the going on the bear hunt book which I'm always talking about I didn't know how I was going to feel when I turned 50 and when I turned 50 it was in lockdown one so the really the strictest lockdown that we had in those really weird funny times and I loved it basically I absolutely loved turning 50 and I felt great and I had the most amazing birthday I ever had so my daughter and son-in-law were staying with us in the you know the whole lockdown situation so we were a little unit for a couple of months it was really special I very quickly decided I didn't care anymore what anyone thought of me and for some reason I have no idea why you can ask me and I really don't know I don't have a clue I started my YouTube channel <laughs> And I know some of you that were around then are still around now that, you know, you've been, been around a long time with me. And I, I am so, so grateful that you stuck by me and you keep me company every video and all the lovely comments you leave. I'm so, so grateful. It's been such a journey just from, you know, that starting a YouTube channel thing. And I had no idea what I was doing, why I was doing it or anything like that, but it's turned into, you know, basically for me i found my tribe and i've absolutely enjoyed you know creating the videos making the videos is a really creative process for me and i really enjoy it i even enjoy most i can't say all but most of the editing process as well which is a really long process for me i don't know why i seem to take so long i seem to take longer than anyone else probably at the end of the day if i didn't enjoy that element of it and the storytelling of it and the way you can you know express yourself through the me the medium of video it, it's it's another creative branch of my tree if you like so endlessly grateful for you if you you know clicked on my videos then or obviously you've clicked on my video today so thank you so much it's a wonderful place to be and have these conversations so do let me know your own experiences of you know growing older as well because it's not something that we have to be afraid of you know it's not something to be scared you know if our hair turns gray for example I mean you know check out mine I started going gray at 19 and I fought and fought and fought it and used to dye my roots every four weeks when they 
they started to po poke through, you know, because I had really dark hair and, you know, my eyebrows are mm. witness, you know, to that. So, you know, that's how dark I was, almost black. So it was quite prominent when my, my silvers used to come through. But, you know, I love my, my grey hair. It's, it's, it's now part of me and it's really changed what I look like. But I like it. So I am evolving as I evolve, if you like. And, and all the feelings and emotions and, and the mental stuff, the, the journey to navigate and the stormy sea and then the calm sea and then somewhere in between. And then sometimes it's just like a crazy hurricane and sometimes it's just like, you know, like glass, like dead still. It, we just navigate it because we have to. We learn all the steps along the way. As some say, an honour to grow older because not everybody gets that, you know, that luxury, do they? So yeah, we know this. You know, I, like many of you, have lost loved ones young, way before it is, you know, their natural time. So yeah, we're lucky, we're lucky. So we should embrace it. I often journal about and I often wonder as well, you know, what advice would I give my younger self now? So that 39 year old turning 40, for example, or the 29 year old turning 30, that didn't bother me too much, but I know it does for some. And I think I would say the most important thing is taking care of yourself. And that can be 102 different elements all coming together depending on who you are because we're all unique and different even though we all have so much in common and so in a way we're all the same as well we have to find don't we our own way through and the key to doing that is the connections we have with each other and learning from each other well you know whether we're older or whether we're younger you know I learn a lot of things from younger people in my life as well it's not just older people have the wisdom and the younger people don't. It's different. Each generation has different gifts and we can learn from that if we're willing to listen and take that on, can't we? There's a saying, isn't there, that life is a journey and it's not about the destination. Sometimes big things happen which can feel like a destination. You know, like, so for me, when we bought our house back in 2007 or somewhere around there, James and I bought a house and that felt like a destination where I had arrived in, you know, my house, whatever that meant at the time. And so I think there are things that feel like a destination, aren't they? Or maybe we get our degree or we have a child or we get married. And those can feel like a destination point, can't they, within the journey. So I think there are some major milestones and also, you know, like what I've been talking about with menopause, there are these giant rites of passage that we go through as a human being as well. So it's all pretty magical, pretty special, especially when we're sharing the journey and the story of that and our experiences with each other. And of course, we don't always listen and we don't always learn. Often, if not most of the time, if not all the time, learn from our own mistakes, don't we? And some of the things that I have learned in my 50s have taken me a heck of a long time to learn. And I've had to own that, so interesting. Anyway, I think the moral of this story, of what I'm trying to say, if I cut it short, because I did go off on a few tangents then, so sorry about that, but I do tend to do that a lot. But at the end of the day, growing up, growing older, is fun, it's enjoyable, it's still an adventure. I don't feel any different to how I did. I still feel like the same Wendy. In fact, if anything, I feel more like myself than I ever have. So that's something to celebrate. So shall I do another little cameo girl today? I might do another one. I kind of really enjoyed doing that, so yeah. I don't have a plan today. I was really good last night and I went home and did my podcast, so that's all up now. It's just like a snuggly, cosy chat and I really enjoy that and I can go like deep into, you know, stuff that I want to. You can't always put everything on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm trying to show you that I'm editing this video right now and I need to say goodbye because it's far too long and I realised that once I was, you know, started the process. So thank you so much for watching, as always. Try to keep your light shining bright and I will see you really, really soon in the next one. Bye for now.